Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that might not be on everyone's radar but is super important for your car's health, car axle problems and their symptoms. If you've ever wondered what's going on with your car when it starts making weird noises or feels a bit off, you might be dealing with axle issues. So, let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what an axle actually does. The axle is a crucial part of your vehicle, connecting the wheels and bearing the weight of the car. It also helps with steering and power transmission. So, yeah, it's pretty important. When there's a problem with the axle, you're going to notice some signs, and it's vital to catch these early to avoid more serious damage. One of the first symptoms you might notice is a clicking or popping noise when you're turning. This can be a sign of a damaged CV joint, which is part of the axle assembly. The CV joint allows the axle to flex while the wheels are turning and moving up and down. If the joint is worn out, it can start making noises. You'll often hear this clicking sound when making sharp turns or even just going around corners. Another symptom to look out for is vibrations while driving, especially during acceleration. If your car starts to shake or vibrate, it could be a sign that the axle is bent or damaged. These vibrations are usually felt in the steering wheel or throughout the whole car. It's not just annoying. It's a sign that something's seriously wrong and needs attention. Have you ever noticed grease on the inside edges of your tires? That's another telltale sign of axle problems. The CV boot, which protects the CV joint, can crack or tear over time. When this happens, grease leaks out and can end up on your tires or undercarriage. Without the grease, the joint can wear out faster, leading to more significant problems down the road. Sometimes, you might hear a clunking noise when you put your car into gear. This can indicate that the axle is loose or has too much play. It's especially noticeable when shifting from park to drive or when you first start moving. If you hear this kind of noise, it's a good idea to have it checked out sooner rather than later. Now, let's talk about what happens when you ignore these symptoms. Driving with a damaged axle is dangerous. The axle can break completely, which means you could lose control of the vehicle. Imagine cruising down the highway, and suddenly one of your wheels stops working correctly. Not a fun situation, right? That's why it's crucial to address these symptoms as soon as you notice them. So, what can you do if you suspect axle problems? First, get your car inspected by a professional. They can lift the car and take a closer look at the axle, CV joints, and boots. They'll check for any signs of damage or wear and can tell you what needs to be done to fix it. Sometimes, it might just be a matter of replacing a CV boot. Other times, you might need to replace the entire axle. If you're a DIY enthusiast, you might be tempted to tackle axle problems yourself. While some car repairs are perfectly fine for the average DIYer, axles can be a bit tricky. They require specific tools and knowledge to fix correctly. If you're not confident in your skills, it's best to leave it to the professionals to ensure the job is done right. Preventative maintenance can also go a long way in avoiding axle problems. Regularly checking your CV boots for cracks or tears and making sure there's no grease leaking out can help catch issues early. Keeping your car's suspension and steering components in good shape can also reduce the strain on the axles, extending their lifespan. To sum it up, axle problems can present themselves in various ways. Clicking or popping noises when turning, vibrations during acceleration, grease on your tires, and clunking noises when shifting gears. These symptoms are your car's way of telling you something's wrong, and it's essential to listen. Ignoring these signs can lead to more severe issues and even dangerous driving situations. So, have you ever experienced any of these symptoms? What did you do about it? Share your stories in the comments below, and let's get a conversation going. Your experience might help someone else who's dealing with similar issues. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more car maintenance tips and troubleshooting advice. Until next time, drive safe and take care.